Hello, good morning. Um, this is another video of uh, an installation that we just did. It's uh, a 15 kVA uh, pure sine wave inverter, 48 volts. Um, we have a battery capacity of uh, 800 amp hour. And um, as you can see, the batteries are US batteries, L16, 6 volts, 365 amp hour, C20. Um, what we have here, we have a combiner box, um, MMPV6, it's a six string combiner box and we have a solar panel of 3.9 kilowatts on the roof. Uh, we have six facing the east side and uh, nine facing the west side. Uh, so the six can capture the morning sunlight and the nine will capture the uh, uh, midday uh, sunlight. Uh, we have a, a fan cushion flex max 80 charge controller and that handles everything um, it's at 48 volts uh, the system is a 48 volt system so technically it means uh, this um, charge controller can handle can support up to uh, 4000 watts so and we're currently running on 3.9 uh, kilowatts it makes it good well, we have an SPD connected, SPD 300 DC uh, for that, and then we also have an SPD 300 AC uh, to protect the system and the input from surge. We have a midnight uh, battery state of charge meter that actually takes care of the checks the state of charge, and we also have a four four in one uh, meter to actually check the voltage on the battery bank uh, here. We have what you call a BLS, a 48 volts, uh, 48 volts battery lifesaver. Uh, it's for the battery to keep the battery in tune. And with this, uh, it supplies a whole house. It's uh, more like a townhouse. And then the homeowner actually intends to put a, an air conditioner, one or two air conditioners on the system. And uh, hopefully, maybe very soon. If there's any need, uh, we might increase the battery bank. So what we have here, we have a bank of six volts, bank of 48 volts, six volts batteries each, and then you have eight per string. We have two strings, and everything is combined together with equal length of cables. Uh, everything terminates in this box. And there are two boss bars in this box, two copper boss bars in this box, uh, about one inch. And the positive and the negatives actually terminate on this. Uh, with this system, uh, we can actually do a lot and we hope to uh, um, get more reviews and get more uh, observation as, as the time goes on. Uh, subsequently, uh, if there's any need, uh, we might increase the um, capacity of the solar panels and that's why we have the space left. Um, so that for future or the near future upgrades, we have to put uh, a charge controller in there and um, a combiner box. Uh, right now the combiner box we're using five strings of it. We have 260 watts uh, monocrystalline, Yingli monocrystalline um, uh, panels and with this we have each three strings together in series in each making five and we have 15. Uh, that gives us 3,900 watts of uh, solar power. It is awesome and as at 9 a.m. this morning, it's been absorbing, the system is absorbing the next couple of minutes, it will float. Uh, so that's what we're having right now, you can see it, it's absorbing. Uh, yeah, and the absorption started some time back. 2.58, that's in the next two minutes, uh, it's going to be floating. So that's it, um, the new system. Uh, we hope to get more updates on this system as we go ahead. The solar panels are on the roof, uh, the location is uh, quite high. And uh, hopefully I intend to get a video and pictures of solar panel. Thank you, have a great day.